Are you ready to discover the secrets of a phenomenon that might revolutionize the future? To begin with, I want you to take a moment to imagine all of the world's digital data, all the images, texts and videos that are stored every second all over the planet. And now, try to imagine what could be the necessary volume for storing all this data. It's not easy, right? Also, do you know how many years storage devices last until they start erasing their content? Roughly between 10 and 20 years max. So what if I told you that I can store all of this data in a shoebox for all eternity? In 2014, scientists successfully recovered the DNA of a woolly mammoth that had been trapped into permafrost. And there are two interesting facts that I would like to highlight in this story. First, as you might already know, DNA contains all the necessary information for living organisms in a very small volume, like the one of a cell. But what is even more interesting is that this DNA is 40,000 years old, and it is still readable. That means that there was no alteration. So the idea was born. Could we use DNA for storing digital data? Yes. On the one hand, DNA is a sequence of four different elements, which we usually denote by the letters A, T, C and G. On the other hand, digital data is expressed in the form of a binary sequence of zeros and ones. Therefore, if we want to store digital data into DNA, we need to first encode this binary information into a quaternary sequence of A, T, C and G. We have already started working on this idea in my lab, and the first part of my job is to find an algorithm that efficiently encodes digital information into a quaternary representation. Once the data has been encoded, it will be then used by biologists to synthesize it in the form of DNA, and it will be stored in very small capsules that prevent contact with water and oxygen, so it can remain intact for thousands of years. But it remains to be seen how we recover the data stored in this way, and it is in fact the biologist who will read the content of the capsules by using sequencers, which are special machines that decipher the DNA strands. The tricky part here is that this sequencing process is prone to errors. So here it comes the second part of my job, to find and to apply robust decoding techniques to fully retrieve our stored data. Ultimately, we have estimated that all of the world's data could be stored in just one kilo of DNA, which is about the size of a shoebox. You might say that this is a science fiction story, but no. All the methods, all the secrets are already there. And this is what we simply call science.